When uh, an alpha controls the group, how long generally is their reign? And what happens to them when they get pushed out? So that's, interestingly, that's different in different chimp groups across Africa. But at Ngogo, I think like six, seven years is the average like good tenure. There have been chimps who have taken the alpha position but have not done it very well and have been out after a year. Mm. Um, there's one chimp there, Bartok, who was in charge for 10 years, but he was very, he was very successful alpha and very politically astute. So I think the average at Ngogo is sort of six or seven years. Um, yeah, and that's quite a long it's time. It's fascinating because it... it it's similar to presidential reigns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it is interesting. I wonder. You know, it's like the, the peak of the, their prime yeah. and their control. It's like they have a term limit. It is interesting because regardless of age as well. So it doesn't really feel like, yeah, they, there isn't, there isn't like at Ngogo, there's, there's an average sort of expectancy of alpha ship. And I think that's, yeah, six or seven years. And that's why we knew that Jackson, at the start of um, when we were filming, we knew that he was entering a period where things could get tricky for him mm. because he'd been in charge for about six years. Um, and it is very interesting that that tends to be the term. And the longer the study goes on for, the more interesting those things become. Because I think in the early days... When they were first observing the chimps, they were like, okay, well, he was in charge for three years. He was in charge for seven. And, you know, the, there didn't seem to be any pattern. So it was all sort of, well, you're just at the top until someone knocks you off. But it does seem interesting that they don't see them lasting that much longer. You know, they expect them not not to stay there for much longer. Is there any evidence that they learn from the chimps that are successful and they mimic this sort of political behavior and sort of like social awareness of keeping everybody happy and sort of like governing and, you know, in a sort of uh, an effective sort of harmonious way? Well, whether they see other chimps... Yes. Doing well through that. I don't know. I think that's a I think that's a good question. Um I don't know the answer to that actually. I mean there's certainly there's leaders in they adopt different strategies individually and definitely the ones that that are better at managing their political relationships and their allies. They, they stay in power longer, and they have an easier time of it. Like Bartok, um, I mean, these are chimps that passed long before this series, but you would be, you'd be interested in it. Bartok is a small guy. Um, I mean, always looked big when he was alpha because they tend to sort of, they just hold themselves differently. So they puff their hair out. Mm. Pump. It's called pilo erect when they stick all their, their hair goes on, and it literally gives them a different silhouette, a different body shape. And so when you are alpha, you tend to look bigger anyway. But even when he was like that, he didn't look as big as the other chimps. He was a relatively small chimp, but he was the longest serving alpha they've ever had at Ngogo. So he was the most successful leader there. And it was right at a time when Ngogo was still one massive group. So he probably was leader at the time when the group was biggest for the longest period and he was also the smallest guy they've ever had in charge. Mm. And they put all that down to he was extremely good at keeping his relationships going with all the other big males. So all the big guys that could threaten him, he was grooming them all the time, mm. keeping them happy. Wow. And what happens to them when they get overthrown? Do they just assume a, a lesser position? They do. I mean, they... they I, <laughs> At Ngogo, they they tend to everything is okay after that. Like they they might get beaten up badly in the overthrow. Um, they might get a bit injured there, but it's they've no it's never been lethal at Ngogo. 
Whereas at other sites, I've heard the alphas have been killed. Who you know they've been they've been killed in in the transfer of power. That's never interestingly. That's never happened in GoGo. Hmm. They, you know, the the incoming. There could well be a big fight and some minor injuries, but then that's it. And there's a there's a new dominance hierarchy established. And as long as the outgoing alpha um, is submitting to the incoming one in in the formal way, the pant grunt, <laughs> whenever he comes by, then that's just okay. We've sorted this out. Mm. We now know, like he he's on top, and the other chimps know. And but what happens then is they 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 can sometimes retain a, a sort of high position in the hierarchy. Like Miles, for instance, who's Jackson's giant friend, he was alpha for quite a brief period. And then, I can't remember who was after, and then I think could have been Jackson, actually, who took it off Miles. Miles remained high up there in number two or number three spot. He's always remained powerful. But some of them, you know, Bartok, I think, just after he left the alpha position, he just began the trajectory down the hierarchy and just retired Mm. he was he was out of it so they're not competing anymore i'm old i'm done they just accept the new position yeah and they just they really drop down all the way down the hierarchy they're no longer competing in that the higher levels of the dominance hierarchy they they retire from that 